Hello guys, it's your boy Noble Froms with them and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the worst skins in the CS2. Now I've made a video just like this before where I showed in CSGO the worst skins on the workshop, but today I'm going to be showing you guys the worst skins that are actually available in the game. But before I do that, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is D Market. D Market is a CSGO marketplace where you can buy, sell, and trade your CSGO skins safely for real money. If you're buying skins, for example, a flip knife tiger tooth on Steam, you're paying over 630 euro. Meanwhile, on D Market, you can buy one right now for under 460 euro. And if you're selling skins, you can sell with a fee as low as only 2%. D Market wanted me to mention that you guys need to be careful now because there's currently fake scam Google ads going around. This is one of those fake ads, and as you can see, it is the real D Market URL, but it redirects you to another website. That's why you should always go to dmarket.com or use the link in the description to make sure that you're on the real side. So if you're buying, selling or trading skins, then please check out dmarket from the link in the description. Now, saying a skin is the worst is a bit subjective, but I've made a few rules on how I graded the skins. First, of course, how visually appealing it is. Secondly, if it looks bad for its quality. Third is the colors, like how the MAC-10 Surfwood looks much better than the MAC-10 Sienna Damask, even though they're both the same quality. Fourth is the contrast, like how the 5.7 Hotshot looks much better than the orange peel, because as you can see, there's different colors and color contrasts. Five is how complex the art work is and if there's a effect on the skin like if it's flat or reflective and finally it's all in the eyes of the beholder some skins that i'm gonna roast in this video are probably your guys's favorite but in my opinion these are the absolute worst skins in cs2 starting with the aug daedalus which you can see here does not look very good if they just skip the red i think it would look a lot better but for over three euro you can find a lot better skins another aug the aug Swift. Weeper is also very very ugly. It has this like blurred chicken wire pattern and it's orange, gray, and poo brown. Why? After that, we actually have a collection of three skins, the Predator skins. With a name like that, Dream must love it. The AK, the M249, and the Nova. In Factory New, it doesn't look too bad, but if you check, for example, field tested, you can see that it just gets worse. Next skin, similar to the Aug Daedalus, is the Barricade. SG, which honestly looks worse because it's not red, it's green. It looks like there's moss growing all over the gun. And for almost 4 euro, this is really shit. Speaking of moss, we have the M4 Moss Quartz, what? which I just realized they updated yesterday. Holy shit, the new effect looks really cool. I wouldn't say this is a very bad skin anymore. Now it's like kind of glossy, reflective, and looks good. So if they keep it this way, this is actually a good skin. I'm gonna remove it from the list. A skin that, however, is gonna stay on the list is the Galil Hunting Blind, which has, once again, the blurry chicken wire pattern, and of course, the two different hues of uh, poo. You can see here we have the heavy constipated poo, and here the light tikka masala diarrhea. Next up is a skin some of you might like. It's the P2000 Woodsman from the Hydra collection. I will admit, you know, the camo is pretty nice, but for the quality, which is purple, it's shit. And considering this one is more expensive than the Amber Fade P2000 and almost double the price of the P2000 Scorpion, which are both purple, I think the Woodsman is ultra shit. A skin a lot of you guys might disagree with me on, the P250 Containment. Now, this is arguably a pretty cool skin, I just put it on the list because it's so disgusting. The flesh walls and the holes in them. <clears throat> I'm getting shivers just looking at it, man. Ugh! Next up is a skin that's pretty new, the Galil Akuben. And in my opinion, this is the worst skin we've seen in a case for a very long time. It's a blue Galil, but look how bad it looks. Just compare it to, for example, the Galil Rocket Pop, which in my opinion, way more colorful, looks way more like a skin and looks better, and it's also a blue quality Galil. A skin I think we can all agree is ugly is the Granite Marbleized. 
it's got this very bad splatter all over the skin and this very nice yellow piss snow color. The only good thing about this skin is that there's a pattern which the back of it looks like the face of a hamster, which is pretty cute. Pattern 125, the hamster pattern. Of course, we're getting back to the chicken wire pattern with the Tech 9 Army Mesh. We have the puke green mixed with the Tikka Masala Diarrhea Brown mixed with the Oops, I Wiped Too Hard Red. Another type of skin I hate just as much as the chicken wire patterns, MP9 Dry Season. Same very ugly colorway, but you can see these blurry dots that are just all over the skin no matter where you look. Just like the chicken wire pattern, this is a recurring thing. We see these dots once again on the Waves Perforated SG, which, yeah, I'll admit the colors are a little bit better than the Dry Seasons, but by far the best colorway has to be the Urban Perforated XM, where it's very clean. But for some reason, we still have these blurry dots all over the skin, and if you look at it from the player's point of view, it just doesn't look very good. From the recent Operation Broken Fang, we have the UMP Hound's Tooth, where you have this 3 a.m. constipated poo brown mixed with this very weird pattern. I don't know why it's there, but it's all over the skin except for the stalk, and you can see it's just not very interesting. Oh my god, this one I forgot. <laughs> this one is so bad. Dual Beretta's Driftwood. I mean, look at the pattern. It's hard to see even like where the skin is. Where does it start? Where does it end? It's all just like these weird brown claw marks. I don't like it. Next up, it's actually two skins in the one. We have the P2000 Grasslands and the Grassland Leaves. These are both basically the same skin. For some reason, they just have two different names and one has a little bit of green on it. What the fuck, Valve? Just delete both. Next up, we have two skins as well, the Bone Mask skins. Both of these are really, really ugly and you can see it kind of looks like a gravestone and the green is the moss and it just isn't very good looking. And it's kind of interesting that I think this is one of the ugliest skins ever because the R8 Revolver Bone Mask Souvenir is extremely rare and very, very, very expensive. A colorway that is very similar to the Bone Mask is the Sage Spray skins. If we take a look at the Sawdog, for example, you can see only in Factory New does it look decent, but in Factory New it's almost 6 euro, which honestly, this is just not worth. Just look how blurry everything is. Now, I'm not gonna piss anyone off and say that Sand Dune skins are bad, but I can at least say that the sand mesh skin is very bad. It's only available in the Scar 20 and it's honestly just a sand dune with the same fucking chicken wire pattern all over the skin. Very ugly. Next up, the army sheen skins, but I only hate one and it's the Negev army sheen, which I see now as well they have updated in the last update, so it is a lot cooler than it was when I made the list two days ago. Fucking Valve, why do I have to change the skins I always put in my list? Now, I might get hate for this one, but I don't care. The Sword of Snake Camo is kind of shit. Not because it looks bad per se, but because the texture is so low quality and has not aged very well. It is so blurry. Like, bro, this is what I see when I take my glasses off, hello? Back to abhorrent colorways, we're looking at the MP7 Army Recon. This is factory new, so it looks kind of decent, but in field tested, you can see, it's just like the sort of thing where if you get it as a drop, you buy a storage unit, put the skin in the storage unit, and then delete the storage unit, because you just can't stand this ugly fucking skin. Now I know I'm gonna get hate for this one, but it's my video, I don't care. The Mac 10 Commuter. Not because I don't like the concept, it's cool, it's made of leather, and look, it's like alligator leather or something. And I actually said in a video with the most underrated skins that this was one of them. But the problem is, now in CS2, when all the skins have these crazy 3D effects, look at the fake leather, it's just so flat. This needs a normal normal map to make it look 3D. Now, controversial opinion, the MP5 Desert Strike. A lot of you guys are gonna think that this is a pretty sick skin, and yeah, it's kind of low-key, it's kind of sleek, but for a blue MP5, there are so much better alternatives, like the Liquidation. This one is way cleaner, and they literally cost the same, so I would choose this one any day of the week. Next up, the PP Bison Jungle Slipstream. In my opinion, it is just way too flat and not interesting at all. This is from 2017 and it has not aged well. It's a blue PP Bison and just look what we have nowadays in the Riptide collection. We have the PP Bison Lumen which looks 
so much more interesting, much more depth and way cleaner design. Another example of a skin that has not held up very well is the SG Wave Spray. You can look here, it is just fully flat, spray painted, very blurry, doesn't look good. And of course that's gonna be the case, because this is from the Bravo case from 2013. Compared to what we have in 2023, the Cyber Force from the Revolution case, look how better this looks. Both are blue SGs, but this one looks 10 times better. As I said, I hate the PP Bison Jungle Slipstream, so it's safe to say that I also hate the Scar 20 Slipstream. This one has the same problem. Way too flat, not interesting, the pattern is just shit, I'm sorry. Compare it to a new skin from 2023, we have the Scar Fragment. Look at that 3D effect. Another skin that really has not held up very well, the M4 Faded Zebra, also from 2013, Bravo case. I actually like this one, but I can be realistic and say, yeah, this is a pretty shit skin compared to what we have nowadays. The M4 Polymag, which looks a lot better and is way more interesting than the Faded Zebra. And for the final skin, which also has a very nice comparison, the AUG Wings from the first case ever in CS in 2013, the Weapon Case 1. And you can really see this is a very old skin. I mean, it's just fully black, and then it has this tiny, tiny design of the wings in the back, which, yeah, it looks shit. Compared to what we got three years ago, which is also a blue AUG, we have the Carved Jade, which has this super nice reflective, like, mirror-like design, and it's just obviously way more attention-grabbing in-game. And considering a Star Trek Factory new wings costs the same as this Carved Jade, I would say the Carved Jade wins every day of the week. So, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I didn't roast any skins that you guys like, but in my opinion, I don't care. This these are skins that I hate that are in the game that honestly CS might be better off if they just deleted. Thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to go hope that CS adds more nice looking skins and stops adding these super shit diarrhea poo looking skins. Yeah, I hate.